Hello, my name is Belinda Walsh. I'm a visual artist and I'm one of the founding members of Middleton Arts Festival. We began the festival in 2014. It was myself and a group of friends we got together and we decided that Middleton needs an arts festival. So many creative people around that we thought it was very important. Hi, I'm Ilse Desire. I've been involved in the festival since 2014 when it began. For the last few years I've been co-artistic director with Belinda Walsh. I'm Wayne Maxweeney. I do some of the music in one of the art projects. Hello, I'm Alice Barry from Noggin Theatre Company. We're delighted to be involved in Middleton Arts Festival. This year, 2019, our theme is Tread Lightly. It's basically about just being aware of the carbon footprint that you leave behind. It's a bit of environmental awareness. Children in the local primary schools have created posters themselves. So instead of getting the posters printed, the children have made them. And they're hanging up around town. They look really beautiful. We've been doing a beach clean over the last few months, and we've collected about 100 bags of rubbish. We've created a huge fish. It's about like 20 foot long. And all the rubbish is going to go into this fish, and it will be displayed in town. Also, the Ahada Sea Scouts have made a beautiful big fish out of recycled materials, and they will be exhibiting that. This year, we're opening with a tour of the street gallery. Gallery. We have 30 plus artists all displaying their works in the shop fronts. At 7 o'clock, our big opening happens in the Half Light Gallery with Eva Brocky curating a wonderful art exhibition. The Footprint Award has been going for the past three years. This is our fourth year to give an award to someone in the community who has really made their mark in a creative way. On Friday night at 8 o'clock, we have Paul Tiernan, who was a member of the uh, cult band Interference, and he'll be bringing his show on his new album album to on show in Wallace's. Friday night at 8 o'clock in The Loft in Molly's, we have Live, which is a new one-woman show that I wrote myself. Saturday morning by the farmer's market we have a ukulele. So if you're a ukulele player or if you're a beginner or novice or if you're an expert, please come along and join in the fun. There'll be a um, children's busking competition on the Saturday. That's always a great success. The whole town comes alive with children playing their music and singing. The busking itself will start at 11 and so it'll go from 11 to 12 or if you're somebody who can busk longer for an hour you're more than welcome to do that you just pick a spot and off you go get your friends and family to support you and we have a couple of judges who will be wandering around the winners then will be announced up in market green at three o'clock we have a lot of great public events there's gifting stones with annie outside the courthouse poster competition the heart project with wayne mcsweeney two years ago during the festival we gave a dad's heart project people were asked if they wanted a piece of free art and it was just a heart with the name with the word dad on it and in return we asked them to fill in a six by four card with a sentiment or a picture and those were gathered up and put into a book. This year we're doing mom or actually mam and again we just wanted to see what people thought about their mams and put that in a book. So please come along and get a free piece of art. There's film in the courthouse, there's a series of talks in, on, on the Saturday afternoon, there's free children's cartoon workshops in the library. Middleton Books is a great bookstore in Middleton. We love going there and we love the events they put on. They have a poetry competition, it's for children. They have poetry reading, storytelling. John Devoy will talk about his book, Quandum. We have the craft fair in Coach Horse Square. In Anne Shomer in Wallace Bar, we have Ryan Kershaw giving a creativity and success workshop. There's a free public art project outside My Place Community Centre and it's a felting workshop. For the past three years, we've had a drumming circle, which is run by Fergal O'Connor in Baylick Park at the beautiful feather sculpture by Alex Pentec. And we're all going to be drumming around the feather sculptures. And then on the Saturday night at 8 o'clock in on Shomra in Wallace's, we have Ruti Lax doing her one-woman show, which is called A Different Kettle. On Saturday night, we have Inferno Fire Show, which will be really exciting in the farmer's market. Everybody's invited to come. This is a wild show with fire, movement and acrobatics. Before that, at 10 o'clock, we'll be meeting outside Coppinger's Bar. Everybody will be invited to do a silly walk in the silly walk parade up to the fire show. Sunday in Baby Walk, we have Jerry Barry, the land artist. He's going to be working with the community to make something from items collected from the woods behind. On the Sunday we're going to have the Gab which are a storytelling group and they'll be starting off at 2 o'clock to 4 o'clock and then from 4.30 until 6 there is the mixtape which are the 
Gab General and there's different people going to be giving stories, poems. And on Sunday night at 7 o'clock in the courthouse we will have ECMP, the East Cork Music Project and they will be playing a concert that's 3 euros in the courthouse. So if you really do like Jailhouse Rock please come along Sunday night to Middleton Courthouse at 7pm. Bring 3 euros and your dancing shoes and rock out to ECMP. Sunday night we have the brilliant Mary McAvoy who's coming to my place and she's doing Fruitcake at 7 o'clock which is the show that I wrote and then there's going to be an interval where we'll provide some of the fruitcake. After that there's going to be an interview between myself and Mary and we'll be discussing really how the light gets in and her two books. A very unique experience and we're thrilled to have Mary at the festival this year. It ends up being thousands of people involved in the Middleton Arts Festival and we really are grateful that we can make this fantastic event happen. Thank you to everyone there. We'd like to thank the people of Middleton for their support, for the funders, for their great support. A big thank you to all our sponsors, especially to Cork County Council and East Cork Municipal Council. We want to thank all the artists, all the volunteers, all the traders in Middleton and anybody else who gave a hand out. Let's make this a success. If you'd like more information, you can look on our website, www.middletonartsfestival.com. We have a Facebook page, Middleton Arts Festival, and you'll find all highlights of this year's and the previous festivals on there. If you'd like to get involved and you have any ideas or suggestions, then we'd be happy to hear them, and you can contact us through the website. So, everybody, remember... As we move to the world, tread, tread lightly. 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 Tread lightly.